Hello there, this is Fi, checking out Project Shard Hunters. I've not seen this game before, gonna give it a playtest and see if we can give some useful feedback. Got the game page open here, it says Project Shard Hunters is a 3D top-down shooter demo. It gives you a brief sampling of a wild co-op adventure game to be made someday. It's got fantasy, time travel, rat farms, anti-magic coffee houses, ogre gorillas, and healing cookies, or vitaliskets for you. Ar Arcana gastronomy, <laughs> Ar Arcana gastro gastro astronomers, Ar Arcana gastronomers out there. I'm sorry, <laughs> that probably doesn't make any sense to anyone. Um, but yeah, uh, a little hard to pronounce. And that's only the demo. This demo is a survival mission where your objective is to stay alive as long as possible, keep your wits about you as hordes of goblins, fire elementals, and ogrillas try to take you down. This demo is to provide a simple environment to play around with the mechanics as the full project would contain four player co-op, linear, uh, longer linear levels, and a legion of unique shard hunters to enlist for the common cause, leaping across time and space to reverse the annihilation of your realm. And gold, gold is good too. Uh, to be made someday, though due to lack of time and resources, as well as a desire to pursue backburner projects, development will pause after this release. But for now, enjoy a simpler game where you steal a slab of meat from a goblin encampment and the chaos ensues, okay? Interesting. Um, <laughs> bit of a bummer to, to hear of, like, uh, just putting this out and then backburnering the project, I guess, uh, is how it sounds doesn't instill confidence I suppose but uh, we're gonna give it a play just anyways maybe it'll be helpful let's get rid of the overlay I've not seen anything past what you see here I do keep hearing these clicking sounds from hovering over this is mildly annoying um, it does that even when I have other windows focused which is a little weird but let's try the uh, options menu we got vsync on I'm gonna try turning that off it'll probably be a little more responsive I did say it's a top-down shooter I believe so presumably using the mouse uh, we got music sounds reasonable I think for the level let's click on play I guess loading okay ooh all right all right so it's getting a little bit louder maybe a little too loud here let me check I'll turn it down a bit in the capture hopefully that's Okay, I gotta turn my own volume down a bit so I can hear myself talking, because it's always important. Uh, Alright, so we've got this kind of crazy camera movement, um, which is interesting. It's rather zoomed in, so in spite of the fact that you can kind of manipulate the camera like this, you, uh, you can't necessarily see all that much at once. Especially for this type of game, it's definitely a closer camera than the typical top-down shooter, so that's interesting. Um, this can get a little annoying, I think, potentially, depending on who you are, I guess. Um, we got some UI here. This stuff is blending in a bit. The like the colors and such, and the backgrounds, like this background gray, uh, it doesn't really stand out as much as I hope. Same with the character, the skin kind of blends in a bit. I don't know if these are meant to look like they're disabled or if it's just, you know, this white on, on light gray isn't really giving us a lot of contrast. Uh, looks like in the bottom right we have escape, back to menu, and F1 for help. Let's try escape. All right. We get a pause menu. That's nice. It's quite functional, so that's good. Um, so one thing I'd like to see is... Um, Yeah, this is a tiny detail, and maybe it doesn't matter that much, but like if I hit escape, obviously if, if I hit escape again, it unpauses again, but if I hit escape and then go into a menu, uh, it might be nicer if escape exits out of this menu and then goes back to this screen, and then if I hit escape here, then it'll, it'll return to gameplay. Alright, so let's try actually playing here. Um, movement seems very slow. Also a lot of inertia, a good amount. Feels very sluggish. Which is interesting, I guess it's more about shooting or whatever. Oh, my shots are, sl are slow also. And I have to click per- no, I don't have to click per arrow, but they- the rate of fire is slow. Um, so that's quite interesting. 
my first inclination, uh, I guess having slow movement, considering how zoomed in the camera is, kind of makes sense. Like, it doesn't necessarily feel good to move around super slow, but um, the game could be, you know, worked, uh, could be kind of built around this to work well, I think, and... Uh, but as far as the very slow projectile, that's probably not gonna. F it's probably gonna feel more annoying than than anything, I assume, it's because um, it's not very satisfying, and also it means you have to lead your target a lot. If enemies kind of move around sporadically, it's it's harder to actually be reliable. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I can fall into things and, and go splat. Uh, very interesting. I'm, I'm gonna experiment with that now. Oh, this has an invisible wall. Okay, so for some reason we just have this weird little pit with fishes in it that kills us. That's very strange, but um, interesting. And yeah, so... Oh, I can go out here. Am I supposed to though? I don't know. I'm, I know I know the objective is I'm, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go back there and get that meat or whatever um, so I don't know if there's a point to come out and coming out here if this is just like unfinished stuff um, but yeah when you have this kind of this area to explore that's when this movement speed speed feels really kind of painful uh, with how slow it is all right let's go ahead and oh there's a cookie I think we're supposed to get get the meat, right? And the cookie is for health or something. Oh, it just goes into here. Uh, so it, I don't think the controls have been explained at any point. Let me try some d buttons here. Oh, F key does this. That's cool. Uh, looks like we have a meter that's gradually re recharging here. This roots me into place so I can't move while I'm doing that. Very interesting. Um, okay, spacebar does. All right, so it looks like this is going to be our spacebar ability, and this is, I'm assuming this is the F, which I can't do yet. So I'm waiting for that to recharge. All right, this didn't visually change, so I don't know if that's, if that is or what. This goes on cooldown, okay. All right, so it looks like we have abilities that suck this meter, the yellow meter, and then we have abilities that have cooldown. Um, so that's interesting. Let's go ahead and... I'm still kind of waiting for this to recharge a bit, but... So I have to try to remember to make use of this dodge, I guess. Quite a bit of mo mobility considering how sluggish the regular movement is. Uh, let's start this out. Oh, okay. Wow, these guys are way faster than I thought considering the uh, <laughs> the movement and the uh, the limited view of the camera. My gosh, and there's stuff shooting me from I can't see them. Okay, so um, wow, I didn't expect all of this all at once. What, what the heck? I, I don't know what to do really. Um, <laughs> okay, that's. <laughs> That feels like there's like a variable wrong or something where there was a lot all at once and I didn't really... I didn't feel like I had much to <laughs> to deal with all of that. Um, so yeah, maybe try toning it down a bit to begin with, uh, at the least. Um, the other thing is that like again, like I talked about, you know, the camera, the, the move speed. Um, if you're gonna stick to moving this slowly and seeing this little of the, the map at once, then you have to kind of design around those things. So for instance, those enemies that were shooting the projectiles, um, those are a big problem because they're like completely off the screen somewhere, uh, shooting projectiles at you that you couldn't really see coming, like if they're behind you, behind where you're aiming especially. Um, that sort of thing, that can be very problematic. Also the enemies are, some of the enemies were faster than your move speed 
which means that you have to be able to like shoot enough to like deal with those guys before they get to you you know and it didn't seem like we actually have that much firepower to work with um so yeah i mean even if you just you know if you make them kind of match your own speed or or less um that's not like it doesn't make it easy because you still kind of like if you're backing up all the time you're still gonna run out of room eventually you have to start you know strafing and then it could be enemies in different angles uh, you're still gonna run out of space eventually you still have to shoot the guys even if they're a little slower than you are so you know you gotta be careful about making these fast enemies um, <clears throat> and what else was I going to say Oh, right, so another thing to keep in mind um, with the the angle of the camera and the way that the you know this moving the camera and stuff around works um, if I if I move it if I move the cursor down as far as I can and you look up to the top of the screen and see how far I can see from here and if you compare that to if I move this to the top and how far behind me I could see now uh, I see much less behind me from this angle just because of the, the way that the camera is angled it's not it's not like directly above the, the character looking straight down uh, so something to keep in mind is that if you're aiming up here you can see very little behind you uh, whereas down here you can see a bit more for sure um, left and right is okay it's not as bad but this way you get very little so that's something to keep in mind for general design but I guess I'm gonna try this again I don't really I don't feel like I stand much of a chance against this this many guys and stuff all at once um, where's oh my gosh and they come oh no the the collision is is very unforgiving too on the shots here oh my gosh really unforgiving all right, now I'm gonna hold backwards. This helps a lot until I run out of room here. Oh, I'm stuck in this corner here. Might wanna be careful about putting little corners like that. You get stuck into. All right, that didn't hit anything. <laughs> the sound effect is really funny on that guy. Uh, so yeah. Um, right, so we got these projectiles and it seems like it's the collision is rigged up so that you have to kind of put this thin little arrow like directly into the model of, of the, the goblins or whatever um, really unforgiving you have to be very precise um, which doesn't feel right to me at all I would definitely make that you know the projectile collider significantly larger or or if not that then the uh, it might be better to make the, uh, the collider on the the enemies, the goblins or whatever, significantly larger so that it's much easier to hit them reliably. Um, a lot of cases there where it felt like I was aiming at the thing and it was like point blank, you know, and it was just kind of flying over their shoulder, you know, that sort of thing. That's not what you want in this kind of game for sure. Um, and especially again with like the really slow projectiles that makes it even harder to aim. So yeah, uh, I'm a little confused at, at why uh, the enemies are so... <laughs> intense really with how kind of slow the the main character is it feels very off but um we'll try it one more time here I'm try and lead off with this guy oh that bounces yeah they're extremely aggressive they don't waste any time none of these guys do and they basically like they smack you that it pretty much the instant they get in and range to hit you with their attack like there's no like charge up or anything to or like a telegraph to see what's gonna happen <laughs> the gorilla thing's really funny i gotta say i'm not i'm not focusing on them at all because there's just goblins in my face constantly all right now i can actually think about shooting this guy i guess because there's no goblins for the moment i didn't mean to dodge in that particular direction but um wow All right, so we have, uh, oops, 
we don't get like hits done exactly, but the the shots do knock the enemy back just a little bit, which is helping me stay alive a lot when I can hit them. Um, yeah, the goblins are really problematic. They're just annoying all of the time. I can't really engage in any of the other with any of the other enemies because they're uh, on top of me. It's so bad. Um, so yeah, I, I would. I would start toning down the little goblin guys because the other enemies seem like they're a lot more interesting to engage with. It's just the goblin guys that are um, extraordinarily oppressive. I don't know how the cookie thing works. Like, does that just automatically apply or something if I have one? Let's try one more time. Uh, so yeah, the goblins are annoying in my opinion. I'd rather spend more time fighting the other enemies. But I'm going to try and see if I can manage them, because as long as I'm hitting my shots against them, it, it seems to... Oh! Worked just decently well at keeping me alive here. Uh-oh. It's really easy to dodge into one of these corners somewhere. Okay. <laughs> I think I took a lot of damage trying to get that off. Oh my gosh. camera issues there with the environment. Not sure why there's stuff... There's stuff down this way that kind of blocks the camera a bit. Wait, how? Right, so there's a bunch of trees here. I don't really know why, why these are even here if you can't rotate the camera around this direction. So originally I thought like I was gonna fight more like inside of this area. I didn't I didn't realize <laughs> before I uh, activated the game for the first time that there's gonna be such a massive horde of fast enemies and I would have to run out all around there. Um, happens if I try and pick up both of these. Oh, we get both. Okay. Again, I don't know what these do or if you can activate them. There's a button that. into a corner. I can't see here very well. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kill all of them at once, but end up taking damage because it, it roots me in place for a bit to try and use that. Oh my gosh, that did not hit any of them. I think it got popped up in the air for a little bit there. That was weird. Alright, so yeah. Um... Yeah, it seems like right now the biggest problem is just these little goblin guys that are extremely oppressive. That guy's still screaming. <laughs> Alright, uh, so yeah, I, th I think that's probably about all we're going to get out of the, the demo here. Uh, I know I didn't get particularly far or anything. I uh, had a lot of trouble surviving the, the goblins in particular. But um, yeah, some interesting ideas there, I think, like with the other enemies, the ones that I encountered so far, they seem a bit more interestingly designed. The, the gorilla things are pretty funny and and um, I think their speed and the way that they kind of telegraph their attacks and stuff seemed a lot more reasonable. Uh, projectile shooty guys were a little problematic, but um, I think <sighs> maybe it depends a bit on, on the direction that they're in because of what I was talking about before with the camera angle, how you can't see uh, towards the bottom of the screen in some cases um, but for the most part I think they seem more reasonable as long as I wasn't being hit in the face by like four different goblins at the same time and I could kind of focus on them more um, I think there was a couple points there where they were just like a big blob of those red things that shoot projectiles I don't know why they they're kind of all bunched together at once like that uh, it actually seems quite random in terms of what 
what spawns while you're playing. Like sometimes I would play and then, and uh, it would just like suddenly be like a massive blob of goblins, and sometimes it'd just be like one to two goblins, and so it seems like the am the amount of each enemy was kind of randomized at different times, which is very kind of unpredictable. I don't think that's necessarily a good approach because it makes it hard to kind of keep things balanced if it's kind of out of control like that. Um, is that, you know, I, I'm, I'm not 100% 100% sure if that's the case, but it kind of felt like that a bit, so maybe that would be something worth changing, but yeah, I mean, I'd make some little tweaks here and there, tone down, tone down the, the goblins, make the projectile collision much more giving and you know speed up the projectile a lot and I would do that um, the the velocity of it and, and perhaps uh, bump up the rate of fire a bit that would be a good idea but it also depends I mean you, you mentioned having different kinds of hunters and stuff um, but yeah uh, it could be fun I, I like the uh, the gorilla guys I think in particular they make me laugh so hopefully the video is useful for you. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one.